Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, Summer 2018, Question 5. So we are told that the equation 2x cubed plus x squared minus 1 equals 0 has exactly one real root. And we want to show that for this equation, the newton raphson formula can be written as xn plus 1 equals 4xn cubed plus xn squared plus 1 all over 6xn squared plus 2xn. So the newton raphson formula looks like this. xn plus 1 equals xn minus f of xn over f dash of xn. Our f of x is 2x cubed plus x squared minus 1, which we've been given. Differentiating this gives us f dash, that is 6x squared plus 2x. Putting these into our formula gives us that xn plus 1 equals xn minus 2xn cubed plus xn squared minus 1 over 6xn squared plus 2xn. Now the equation we're aiming for has just got the one fraction on the right, so we need to bring our terms together and we're going to do that by making our xn into a fraction with the same denominator as on the right. So multiplying top and bottom by 6xn squared plus 2xn gives us this. Our left hand fraction we're going to multiply by xn at the top there. So we've now got 6xn cubed plus 2xn squared on the top. We've now got the same denominator for both of these fractions so that we can bring them together. The 6xn cubed minus the 2xn cubed will leave us with 4xn cubed. The 2xn squared minus xn squared leaves us with xn squared. And then we've got minus negative 1 giving us a plus 1 on the top. And on the bottom, 6xn squared plus 2xn as required. We're now going to use the formula that we've just worked out, that was given in part A. We're going to use it with x1 equals 1 to find the values of x2 and x3. So this is just a simple substitution question. So x2 is going to equal 4 times 1 plus 1 squared plus 1 all over 6 times 1 squared plus 2 times 1. We're just substituting that 1 in for x of n. Solving that gives us 6 over 8 which is equal to 3 quarters. To find x3, we're now going to put 3 quarters into our formula. So x3 equals 4 times 3 quarters cubed plus 3 quarters squared plus 1 all over 6 times 3 quarters squared plus 2 times 3 quarters, which gives us 13 over 4 all over 39 over 8, which simplifies to 2 thirds. Now for part C, we need to explain why for this question the newton raphson method cannot be used if x1 equals 0. Well, at x1 equals 0, f dash x is equal to 0, which means x1 is a stationary point and the newton raphson can't be used. Note that we can't just say that the bottom of the fraction would equal 0. We've got to bring in either the stationary point or tangent of our equation. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.